Rule one to pond hopping. No fishing signs tend to be suggestions. As an angler, we respect no trespassing signs. But no fishing signs may be linked to honey holes that you want to fish multiple times. Rule two. A few casts in one spot before you move. If I'm not getting bites, it's time to move on to the next spot. 3. Carry a few types of baits. If you have two poles, run a lure and maybe a plastic, but have options, color variety, rattle traps, top water, deep divers, whatever you can get your hands on. Yeah! Tasty. All right, walk it to the truck. That's a big one, yeah. That's a big brim. Four, it can be a family event. My kids love to fish. So we hit holes all around town and have a few favorites we hit multiple times. We also make room for other families that might want to fish as well. You never know when you're going to run into a mom or dad that about? have kids that want to fish as well. And so we make room for those guys. We can move on to other holes. Even if they're biting in that spot, we'll find them somewhere else. Good job, buddy. Got him? Show him. That's awesome. Number five. Nothing is safe. We keep all brim we catch. A large mouth needs to be 12 inches and under 4 pounds. That seems to be the sweet spot for the perfect fish fry. That flaky white meat we love. What's your catch there, baby? I think that's keeper. Holy crap! We're a little late to the game, but as you can see, the bass are still a little feisty. April is the time of the year that we fish for big bass in Florida. Number six, we use about a half inch red wiggler and run it up the hook as if to put on a sock. This way, it makes it a little harder for the brim to take your worm off the hook. Bobbers are strongly encouraged. Now we're meal prepping. Brim are pretty easy. You use a spoon to descale both sides cut the heads off, I run a fillet knife down the stomach and take out the insides. Then I take some shears and I cut off the top fin and the lower fin. These things get thrown right into some breading and fried. The bass, however, I basically run my fillet knife down the top side, cut through the rib cage, and I use a knife and a fork to take the fillets off. <laughs> 